What is going on you guys? I'm back again with a brand new video, as you can tell. That's why you clicked on it. But today I'm gonna to be talking about how I go about balancing my crazy busy week as a first year medical student here at the University of Manchester, whilst also balancing my work commitments as a DJ and a pretty hectic fitness regime in the gym and in the swimming pool, whilst doing the odd modeling job here and there, heading down to London for DJ gigs and modeling jobs, but also balancing this YouTube business where I post pretty much every week on the channel. So make sure you subscribe so you get updated every time I do post. But yeah, it's a pretty hectic week, every week. So hopefully after watching this video, maybe it can give you some inspiration as to how you can go about micromanaging every single hour of your week so that you can get the best possible outcome in terms of productivity. So what do I mean by micromanaging my week on an hourly basis? Now, what that entails is at the start of the week on a Sunday, I'll basically pull up my favorite template in Excel, which if you want to download, I'll leave a link in the description below because it's absolutely wicked, it's free. And basically what I'll go ahead and do at the start of the week is put in blocks of hours of times of absolute essential activities which cannot be missed. And these will be things such as university lectures, face-to-face -face appointments such as my PBL sessions and my face-to-face -face consultation skills, my DJing work commitments, and my fitness, but also an absolute essential which I feel like a lot of people will miss is by also scheduling in an hour, an hour and a half for lunch and dinner time every single day. And that's because you are gonna spend a little bit of time preparing your food, eating your food, and you'll probably wanna chill out whilst you do that. And by doing this, it just kind of gives you a more realistic look at what you can achieve throughout that week. Because after doing so, you'll end up with a load of blank spaces in between these periods where you can start scheduling in your social activities, your extracurricular sort of activities, but also your home study revision periods, which are essential at the University of Manchester. So I often have to ask myself how I'm gonna go about fitting that in whilst fitting in everything else. And I found the best way of doing that is by creating this timetable. So the best way I wanna illustrate this to you is by showing you a week in October where I had a very crazy busy week, which isn't too dissimilar to every other week, but I feel like I formatted it quite nicely. I wanna show you the key to start with, which is just the color coded sections, university commitments and hobby commitments. So the university commitments will be lecture material, face-to-face -face appointments, and also my studying, the home study periods, which should make up the majority of this timetable, whilst also adding in those hobbies. And that can be everything from exercise, socializing, my DJing, which is actually my work, but I actually consider that as a hobby, which is amazing. I feel super fortunate to be doing something that I absolutely love, and that's my work but also scheduling in my YouTube commitments. So if we run you through a typical week, you'll notice at the start, I tend to wake up every single morning on average between around 8 a.m. to 9.30. And I find that this is really important because waking up every single day at the same sort of time prevents you feeling lethargic. I used to wake up with crazy variation throughout the week during my undergrad, sometimes waking up at 10, sometimes waking up at 8.30 for a really early lecture, going out on the weekend, getting up at 11, and it would ruin me. I would feel like death. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. And there are plenty of studies out there that demonstrate that waking up at the same time every morning can be really, really beneficial. Even if you've had little sleep the night before, it is better to wake up at the same time and you'll feel much better for it. So on a Monday morning, as you can see, I wake up, I have my breakfast for an hour and I get to my PBL open, which is an hour and a half where we sit down and we discuss the topics that need addressing for that week. And after that, I scheduled in a university meeting with one of the faculty members because I felt like it was a really invaluable thing to actually meet one of the members of staff in person because there's 500 people on this course and I feel like it's very easy to get drowned out and I actually want the staff members to be able to put a face to the email rather than just seeing me as a number. But I gave myself a half an hour window after that in order to cycle back to my flat, even though it's only a 10 minute cycle. But to get back to the flat, 
in time for my online lecture. Now, I don't really wanna go into absolute detail of all the particular events that I've scheduled in on this timetable because I think that that's gonna bore you and it's gonna become quite repetitive. And it's quite self-explanatory if you look at this timetable. But I think the, the utility in actually building this is at the end of the day, when you look back at what you've managed to achieve, it's a lot easier to you know close that day off not feeling stressed about the things that you didn't get done because by building this schedule at the start of the week you already know what is and isn't achievable and by sticking to this timetable in the most regimented disciplined way that you possibly can you know that you have achieved the best possible outcome that you could have achieved Okay, so I am just in the middle of editing this video and I have to take a second to talk about how incredible this standing desk is. Now, in this day and age, because we have moved remote and everything is done nowadays online, we don't really think about the damage that spending hours in front of the computer and what that's actually doing to our posture on our backs. Now, this is not an advert, I've not been paid to say this, but it just so happens that a few weeks ago, FlexiSpot reached out to me and said that they wanted to send me a desk and it is a real game changer. I do find working really, really long hours sat down, it not only hurts your back, but it does also affect your productivity. And by being able to stand up whilst doing your work, it allows you to do a bit of stretching here and there, you know? Not only is this desk giving you a new perspective to work from and helping your posture, but the cable management system underneath is absolutely incredible. So guys, you've got to check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description. FlexiSpot standing desk. Thank you so much for sending it me. I'm so grateful. Back to the video. Now you'll also notice that on the weekends, there are quite a few blank spots. And that's because I'm spending the entire week on an hourly basis, micromanaging everything. And to be honest, it does feel a little bit overwhelming at times. But on the weekends, I do tend to just leave that open and free. But the only things that I'll do on my weekends is catch up with my studies. Because as you'll see here, I do tend to also keep a tally on the work that I've got done. And as you can see from hours that I've scheduled in, I've got about 16 hours done from Monday through Friday. And at the University of Manchester, we have a PBL open where we open the case for the week and PBL close at the end of the week on the Friday. And you're advised to get 25 hours of self-study in throughout the course of that week. But for me, it's really not possible to do whilst balancing all these other extracurriculars. So for me, I schedule time on my weekends to do all that catch up time. One thing that I would like to mention on my studies and how I managed to remain super disciplined, it's actually by using this one app called Forest. And this isn't sponsored in any way, but it is a game-changing app. As you can see, it's got a timer on it. I tend to do my studies in 25 minute periods and then take a, like a five minute break. I'll make a video on that at some other point. It's called the Pomodoro Effect. You can do some research on it. It's considered the most effective way of, you know, focusing for a short period of time. So basically what I'll do is I'll stick the timer on and I will not touch my phone for that 25 minute period. And even if I do feel tempted to look at my phone, I'll look at it after like 10 minutes of study and I'll be like, well, there's only 15 minutes left until I can pick my phone up and do some aimless scrolling or check my emails. And at the same time, it also plants flowers so you can see your forest grow. So I love that. Sorry if I sound a little bit congested. It's because I am. I have the worst illness over the last four days. It's not COVID by the way. I have had countless COVID tests, but I've just got a really bad chest infection. I'm really congested. But look, we're still making a video and that shows commitment, doesn't it? Because I scheduled in this hour to film this video and I'm not gonna miss it. Another thing that you'll probably notice that I've scheduled into my week is this Tesco shopping order. And honestly, I would not look past that. That is probably one of the best, most efficient things, like additions to my week that I've done. Because one, I'm sat in the comfort of my own home, just ordering all the things that I want to order. And two, it doesn't mean that I have to go across all the shelves wandering around the Tesco shop, but also traveling there and back to Tesco, the hassle of carrying the bags. 
It's just long, but it's the best thing I ever did. It frees up so much time in your day and it's so, so convenient. And so to finish it all up, at the end of every day, I do spend about half an hour to an hour just spending a bit of time reflecting on my day. And the reason that this is important is because there are the odd occasions where I don't entirely stick to absolutely everything in my schedule. Maybe you get a phone call that comes through, maybe, you know, a family commitment pops up. You know, things change, right? So as you can see here, at the end of the day, uh, about 11ish, I'll go back to this Excel spreadsheet and I will modify the hours in the day in order to better assess my self-study hours and also my uni study hours because that allows me to better delegate my hours at the weekend as well. This isn't gonna work for everyone. I just find that going into this degree, right, I've got so many things that I'm trying to balance and there's one thing I hate and that's feeling overwhelmed. I like to feel like I'm in control of my life. Like I know what's happening. I know what I'm getting done. For me, the only realistic way of being able to effectuate that is by creating this kind of regimented timetable because that allows me to visually see exactly how much time I'm putting towards all my commitments. I think one of the main things that I'm also trying to get across in this video is the importance of prioritizing things that are the most important to you in your life. But that also comes at a cost and that's the compromise. It means that something does have to give. And for me, that is, you know, my social aspects, like my socializing. I really don't tend to do that. And to be honest, I've had to just not going out on the head. Like, you know, obviously I DJ in a nightclub. I finish at like 11ish. I don't drink anymore. Like at the end of my gigs, I'm going straight home. And that required a lot of self-discipline, but for me, it just wasn't possible to stay out for a few hours, have a few drinks, and then feel exhausted the next morning. I need to be on form. I can't afford to wake up the next morning late, potentially miss a PBL session, which is just an absolute no-no. But at the same time, like even on a Friday or a Saturday, I need to be on form for my Saturday. And I used to find that going out on nights out, it would wipe me out for the next day, the next two days, not only because the alcohol is obviously poison to you, right? And you're gonna feel hungover the next morning, but also because it ruins your sleep schedule. I do have a really good setup in my life, I think. Like my flatmate, we bump into each other every other evening. He'll come home from work, I'll be eating at night, and we'll spend, you know, a good hour, a good two hours catching up, socializing. And that, for me, is sufficient in terms of getting that kind of socializing done because everybody needs that it is really really important and right now i haven't figured out the perfect solution for that so you know i am trialing it i am seeing how things go i do intend to modify things and i think that's all about working out ways to become more efficient with your time so for example in an average week, I used to maybe spend 12 hours towards my YouTube videos, whether that be videoing, editing, and scheduling. What I've done in order to reduce that time is by hiring a video editor. So those 12 hours have been cut maybe by two thirds. So maybe a week I'll spend four, four hours on my YouTube videos. Obviously that involves paying them, but for me that's an important kind of compromise because that payment frees up a huge amount of time in my week, even if that's only seven or eight hours. That's seven or eight hours that can go towards, you know, fitness, towards more studying time, uh, towards planning more video content, but also gives me a little bit more leeway in that odd bit of procrastination that it is important to do here and there. So look, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's been interesting. If it has, please leave a comment below and let me know what other kind of videos you would like me to bring to this channel. I'm very open to it. And I also read all your comments. So, you know, stick some down there and also hit the like button if you have enjoyed this one. It really, really helps my channel and these videos be promoted to a wider audience. Also subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time weekly videos do get posted to this channel. There's also going to be a playlist over here with some related content. But as always, I will see you in the next one.